Hello, hello, the Niamer here, and it is time to do something pretty great. The Card Survival Tropical Island finally released in version 1.00, well, C right now. Well, they're working hard to polish up some of the rest of the box, but the game is finally released. It's amazing, it's ready, and we are making a new run. So we're gonna start to play here, and we're gonna go through it. We're gonna say, I, I cleaned up uh, my, my save slots. We're gonna start from scratch. Well, I do still have my suns and moons on my main save, so that's something. Anyhow, we made here our uh, guide man survival son. Time to try the 1.0 C release. Hype. Good. You can start with some of the pre-made characters. I really always enjoyed the vanilla run, so that's what we're gonna start with here. But we, we will try out a whole bunch of different things uh, as well. At some point, we're gonna create a new character, pick a lot of very hard perks here and uh, do something crazy. But to celebrate the release, we'll just do a plain start. You know what uh, like every person starting this game can do. Just create a new custom character without any perks. This is like a baseline experience for this game. Anyone can try it, anyone can enjoy it. And uh, we'll be showing off how to play it and survive and to do really, really well here. So yeah, welcome to anyone new to my channel. Certainly there will be some people who are new. I am Neomer and I have like over 600 hours in this game. It's kind of crazy. Anyhow, <laughs> here we are on the lovely beach. We, here we have the, the, the journal. We have like some locations we need to explore. These are just some generic objectives for the non-story character here. And yeah, so we have to master our skills and we have to find all the locations. Okay, that's uh, simple enough, I guess. And then we got our lovely blueprint system here, which we can use to unlock new things. And uh, right, let's start exploring. So first we're gonna go and wash ourselves nicely and then we're gonna go explore the beach. Uh, right. So. It's been like uh, an interesting weekend. This game released on Friday and uh, I was not able to uh, play it just yet because I was away. So I was like, the whole weekend I was like, oh boy, I could use me some card survival, but you know. It is what it is. It's like super raining outside. Uh, <laughs> I can hear the, the, the rain and the storm and I'm like tucked up in my warm apartment and get ready to play the game. So if you interact a small stone with a heavy stone, you can sharpen it and that will be a useful tool to do various things with. Okay, I'm gonna go, well, we're gonna wash a little bit later maybe. Anyhow, here we have a husk coconut, we're gonna peel it and we're gonna make a hole in it with our beautiful sharpened rock and then you can drink from it. So drinking from the coconut will make your stool a little bit loose, so don't overdo it, but it will give you some nice hydration, which you probably need. Right, and then we're gonna crack it open and we can grab some meat out of it, so we are not so hungry. Let's check out what the, okay, I don't see the coconut saturation just yet. Okay. Also, don't overdo it with eating coconuts. They, they do the same thing to you. Here we can see our stats. We can see our hydration. Keep it high. If it ever goes to zero, you're gonna die. Then we can see our temperature. The hotter it is, the faster you're gonna be losing uh, hydration. We can see our mood. This is how happy we are. Uh, we're getting happier, I guess. Full belly will that do that to you. Oh, we should definitely start researching something though. This is the new system that was introduced relatively recently and uh, you passively research in the background. So here you can see on the search button, you can see like all the things that you found out yet. You can click them on the research, but you need to like uh, do the prerequisite before you can do it. So let's see if we know anything. Well, it seems like, well, we learned about the deadfall trap, so we can start researching that, I guess. Oh, we can research the seashell necklace. We'll do that instead. Let's see if we have anything else here. Mm. No. Okay, seashell necklace hopefully will help with morale and stuff. Anyhow, we're gonna search some more. Uh, our first goal here will be, oh, leaf bat. So that's new. We can uh, make leaf bat from palm fronds now, it seems like. That's uh, that's cute. That's cute. I will first research the necklace though, so. Okay. Make sure you start researching as soon as you unlock stuff, so... Because this is like a resource that you have. If you're not using it, it will go to waste. I will grab some lemongrass. Eat a little bit. There we go. Raise the herbology a little bit in the process. We are a little bit hot. Uh, 
it's still not super hot so we're gonna continue exploring the beach so sometimes you can some things you can eat raw some things you need to cook first so lemongrass you can eat raw it's safe edible tastes like lemon so usually the game will give you some hints what's edible or not uh, so if you break up, open a Kong, for example, takes three minutes to do it. Quite rubber and hard to eat. Would taste better after being hammered and cooked. Well, this thing might have some parasites in it, like any any meat could. So make sure you cook all your meat. I would like to find one more pretty seashell before we actually go into the uh, into the jungle outskirts here. Uh, my skin is getting a little bit sunburned, so we're gonna grab some aloe vera and put some onto the skin so it doesn't continue burning up. Okay, there's another pretty seashell, so we're gonna grab those. We're gonna grab some coconuts. Uh, well, it should be like very easy to move between locations here though. Yeah, only three minutes, so we can carry all of this with us if you really want to. I'll grab a... I'll use up the aloe vera leaf actually, there we go, and we'll grab some wood and then we're gonna go into the jungle outskirts, there we go. And then we're gonna start making our base here, so when you put something in the middle row, if you click on it and click the spin button, this will this will put it in place. So if I grab it into my inventory, it will like just stick there. So that this way you can organize the middle row, uh, middle row, keep it nice and tidy. So for example, if I take the pretty seashells and put it back up there, it will go all the way to the right. That's the default location. So if you want to like, you know, organize stuff, you can put it left to the right. Um, Okay, so now we are inside the jungle outskirts. There's some foliage here that will protect us from the sun. You can see our sunburn is going down now. So with the power of both the aloe vera applied and the the sunburn, uh, the, the foliage, the sunburn will start going down and that's really good. We are very hot though, so, you know, it's not like an ideal situation, but uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, maybe, okay. There's some food. We're gonna keep the food in hands because there there be seagulls here, so they will grab your stuff. Okay, then we're gonna use this opportunity to wash ourselves a little bit more from the filth. This will remove the aloe vera, so maybe that was not the best thing to do, but uh, we discovered a new blueprint, the seashell necklace, and we will start researching the bad immediately. There we go. And since uh, we washed, I'm gonna grab some more aloe vera. And we're gonna grab some other things as well to carry with us. Uh, okay, this will be a priority. We could start making some deadfall traps, I guess. Let's see what we need for them. So hunting. Oh, this one's paused, right? Should we? No, I should make. A, I should research the leaf bed first. So we're gonna carry as many of these as you can. As you as you put them inside your hand slot down here, you can see your. Uh, your encumbrance increasing here once you get this exclamation mark it will take significantly longer to switch locations so if you want to keep it fast then don't don't carry too much things at once it's better to do multiple things with fewer things than uh, one trip well it's not always the case but it's like usually the the rule of the thumb anyhow let's go back here okay this thing's actually going up so we will put aloe on again Maybe we don't use the last portion though. We're a little bit in a pain because of the... So if you click on a thing, you can see what's going on. So right now we are in pain. It lowers my morale, increases the stress. It reduces morale. It re increases the stress. It also increases the courage. And you can see what's causing it. It's caused by a sunburn. And yeah. Sunburns turned out they're bad. They will cause you to tan, which means less sunburns in the future. But, you know, we'll try to avoid it if we can. Anyhow. There we go. So I'm trying to organize things a little bit here. So for example, if I peel a coconut here, the coconut husk will go to the right of it. So that way it stays nice and tidy. And then the coconut right next to it, which you can drink from. And then some food, which we can like eat. However, next thing we want to do now is to like do the campfire. Let's see. The campfire is a basic thing. You start with it unlocked, but we will need some stones, wood and sticks. So this is one of the major first things that you really want to make the campfire it will allow you to cook food and stay warm at nights which is really good okay we're gonna explore some more here okay we found some trees and stuff 
We found some more wood, some more aloe vera that will all, all, be, all be good and useful. We still need to find some sticks. Um, you know, there is a little bit of RNG in the game, but you will find it eventually, don't worry. And we're gonna need another piece of sticks, you'll so see, soon see why. There we go, plenty of sticks, there we go. We're gonna put the heavy stone all the way to the left. So yeah, I put it like stones, then wood, then like coconut stuff, and then like everything else. And later on, we're gonna find better ways to organize everything together. Okay, we're gonna need a couple more stones. Uh, we will continue exploring the jungle outskirts. Hopefully we find some stones. If not, we might go back to the beach to try to find some more there. That's also an option. There might be some here though, so we'll search here. Okay, we discovered a new blueprint, the leaf bat. Okay, I would like to make it. So apparently palm fronds count as leaves now, which is good. Oh, by the way, you can click on the thing and find out more about it. So fresh leaves can feed them to animals, use them as compost or let them dry for tinder. The text above is a placeholder. Okay, well... Sounds pretty good though. <laughs> okay, so here you can you can see the journal. There are like all the items here, which they should be. You can also search, you can be like, what are sticks? How do I find sticks? If I want to make a campfire. So you type in here sticks. So you find them. Sticks can be used as fuel or for crafting different things such as a hand drill, for example. Oh, interesting. How do you craft a hand drill? Well, you interact the sharpened stone with sticks and I'm gonna make a hand drill. And you can interact the hand drill with some leaves, dry leaves, to make a tinder for fire. However, first we'll need a couple more stones, because, you know, making campfire is dangerous unless you put some stones around it. And we are a little bit hungry. Mm. I'm gonna continue searching here, hopefully find some more stones. Uh, I think we'll have to go back to the beach, which is okay. Which is fine. Okay, I'm gonna hop to the beach, try to find some more stones here. Yeah, the, the game's like, nope, no stones for you today. Okay, it's a little bit cloudy, let's grab the crab so the seagulls don't grab it. Okay, we found the rocks, so if everything else fails, you can go to the rocks to find your, your stones. I do not prefer it because rocks are... Um, there's some nasty stuff there that you can step on. Okay, there's one stone. We need like one more. <laughs> we might sleep in the dark today. Hungry and distressed with all these crabs here taunting us. Okay, we're gonna ignore the seagull. It's gonna grab this, the crab. That's okay though. Oh, there we go. So I think the game probably guarantees five stones before we uh, like uh, explore the whole area. So that's why I was adamant to trying to find some more and well surely enough. Okay, let's go to blueprints. Let's research something new. Okay, let's research the the deadful trap. There we go. Okay, let's go back to the outskirt. Good. So now we're gonna make the fire. Uh at 20 p.m. Uh the the, the area becomes too dark and you cannot like do most activities unless you have the campfire and with the campfire you can only do those which are like next to it so keep that in mind but anyway we have our campfire now we're gonna do that we're gonna put some wood on it here you can see the fuel if the fuel ever gets zero it will like start uh, stop uh, stop burning which is kind of bad okay uh seagulls will not grab husk coconuts so they are safe anything else well, we can put crabs inside here start some cooking we're gonna eat a piece of lemongrass while we're waiting for that to cook there we go crabs are done uh, let's see how long does it take to eat them only three minutes that's pretty good actually i think they buffed the crabs okay then we're gonna like uh break some conks here we are sleepy Sleepiness will uh, impact uh, negatively impact your morale, so make sure uh, you are like uh, go to sleep when you're tired, basically. But we are hungry, so we're gonna like finish eating here before that. Let's peel another coconut. There we go. Okay, the crabs are done. Beautiful. Let's drink. Okay, this thing is getting very high, so probably not a good idea to overdo it. Break open some more coconuts. There we go. Eat some more crabs. At some point we'll get tired of eating crabs, but not yet. So, this the game has like this uh, saturation system of the game. If you eat one one type of food way too much, then... Uh, okay, there's our leaf bat. That's wonderful. 
Then you're gonna get sick and tired of it. But uh, at the start of the game, you have very limited different types of food to eat. So I think like these, uh, they did some this balancing thing here on the on the beach that uh, to prevent that from happening. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna take some coconut meat out. We discovered a new blueprint. Yay! And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna this husk. Uh, I'm gonna like get some fibers out of the coconut husks. Actually, this thing I wanna put there. There we go. So, so yeah, from coconut husk you can extract fibers, and with fibers you can combine them together to make a cord. And cords a very useful thing, used in like dozens of recipes I think in this game. And that will make us unlock some beautiful new things, namely. We're gonna unlock a coconut sandals, and these are really good for like walking around. They'll protect your feet. You start with some basic gear with a t-shirt, socks, underwear, and shorts. Socks protect your feet a little bit. If you remove them, you can see your feet's gonna hurt a lot. They provide a buffer for it, so that's really good. Okay, uh, let me see. But yeah, coconut sandals are gonna be the thing that you will want because those will protect. Uh, actual damage from coming on your feet. They will also protect you from like various things you could step on and that might be nasty. Okay, good. So I think we should go to sleep now. Everything seems fairly nice and stable. I like to nap in this game. Uh, taking a full night of sleep is also good for your like, for distressing, for like getting your thoughts in order. But right now we are in like this power mode. We just landed on this island and really, really have to survive. So we don't have like... Uh We don't really have a time for like to sleep for eight hours and you can see our bar is full so that will satisfy our sleeping needs so okay i'm gonna ignore the seal it's gonna grab my coconut meat now how to prevent that well you can grab your coconut half here and you can actually remove the meat from it in your hand and that way the seagull will not be able to grab it also as far as i know seagull will not be courageous enough to go to the campfire to grab it there so yeah do it in here if you want to be safe okay we're gonna grab some more and then again i did the same thing uh, the seagulls will also not grab conks because they cannot open them so they just straight up ignore them that's how i imagine it anyway anyhow let's open some more coconuts here okay we got some roasted coconut meat they're pretty similar to the normal ones uh, however cooking coconut meat will increase your cooking i think so that's really good okay I'm gonna eat a little bit more. We're still not tired of eating coconut, so that's interesting. I'm gonna break open another coconut. Now, it's day two and it's raining. So this is, uh, you get a guaranteed rain on, uh, well, it's not day two yet, but it will be soon. But you get a guaranteed uh, rain, 4 a.m. It should probably say day two. It will say it on the 6 a.m. Right, this rain is guaranteed, uh, I think 24 hours after starting the game, so you can use the coconut shells to fill them up with rainwater, basically it's a free action, you just like, you know, put them on the ground below the rain and the rain is going to start sipping in. Uh, after some time passes they will fill up and you can use them to drink, uh, so rainwater is the safest and the the cheapest and easiest way to get water in this game so when it rains make sure you grab some right so because of that i will also like open some more coconuts here i will not drill holes in them right now because uh there is no need to do it um we have plenty of rainwater, you can see it's already filling up. So what I really want to do, I want to save some time and just crack them open, get the meat out. We discovered a new blueprint, great. We're gonna go and discover something else. So let me just go through this real fast to see if there's anything useful. Okay, we can uh, unlock the this leaf skirt, I guess we'll do it. Although that's not something I really need right now. So many recipes in this game, you can check out what there is, you can click on them to figure out what it is used for. For example, you can be like, oh, enclosure, what's that? Well, doesn't say much yet, but it will, it will, they're working on it. Anyway, uh, let's see, uh, I'm gonna grab that, put some more to cook, there we go. We could also cook like, let's cook these, so we don't like... 
uh, our inventory is fairly limited so uh, a little bit thirsty so we're gonna go i'm gonna take some water to drink here get it nice and full and then we can start collecting some more and we're gonna of course keep opening coconuts so yeah once the rain falls like one of my first goals is to actually open up all the coconuts collect all the rain and then we can continue these things are better if you like uh, soften them up first but it takes 15 minutes to soften up so usually i skip that step it will not be your staple food anyway you find some on the start of the game and it gives very little nutrition so okay right coconut halves okay that's done i'm gonna eat that I'm gonna eat that okay now my my stools are pretty you know not the best okay let's put some Okay, let's talk a little bit about a campfire here. So you can steal the fuel, but you can also see the charcoal here. So if you want to grab the charcoal out, you will have to extinguish the fire first. However, you can light some tinder. There we go. Then you can extinguish the fire. Then you can grab charcoal and ash, and those will be useful materials. Oh, we unlock the ash dressing. That's really nice. And then you can start it burning again to make some. So basically, you're slowly turning wood into charcoal. Charcoal is really good. It will reduce your diarrhea meter. So let's see here. I'm going to click on one of the stats here. And I'm going to go and find the diarrhea. There's a lot of stats here. You can really get it like into it if you like. Uh, I think, yeah, internal. You can still you can see still inconsistency here. Consistency. And you can pin it. That way you can tr keep track of it. If this get, ever gets too high, you will start, you know, pooping around in like not very firm state and uh, you're gonna start losing fluids which is bad in this game because water is like hydration is like the number way number one cause of that in this game i believe so anyway so here we have uh, plenty of water uh, yeah you can eat charcoal that's what we're getting to here <laughs> so if you eat charcoal it will reduce your like it will reduce your diarrhea meter here as we like to call it in the card survival community and that will make it possible for you to eat more things that cause diarrhea so basically charcoal is kind of a you know a cure for stool inconsistency right ash is used for all kinds of pretty cool um things like uh, for example the first thing that we'll want to research here is ash dressing Ash dressing is an advanced wood dressing that can protect wounds and help them heal faster. It is made by combining small cloth and ashes. So we're gonna like unlock that because I really don't need skirt right now. Currently researching leaf skirt. Switch research to rest. ash dressing. You will keep research progress on leaf skirt. So yeah, this progress here stays. You can resume it whenever you like. But right now I would like to get my ash dressing going. So if something bad happens to me, I can put the ash dressing on my wound. Okay. Right, uh, we are almost done with the coconuts. We're gonna finish the work. Okay, let's also put some here to cook. Uh, yeah. There we go. And we got one more husk coconut. We're gonna peel it. There we go. We're gonna open it. And then we're gonna cook all the coconut meat. Okay, next thing, we unlocked the the beautiful sandals here. They're really good for exploring. You're gonna need two coconut husk and four fiber quartz. Coconut husk you get from coconut husk and the quartz you get from like um, extracting fibers from the husk and combining them. So we're gonna do that. Once you place the blueprint down, it will stay in the top row and you can take items out freely and put them back in as much as you like. Okay, so this will be our next item here. I discovered a new blueprint. Uh, ash dressing, beautiful. Now we can go back to researching our leaf skirt. There we go. Okay, you can, you can use this handy button here. So for example, you have like this whole mess of a middle row, you wanna save some time. So when you click on a blueprint, well, either new or already placed one, you can click here, fill required items. If you click outside of it, then it will just remain empty. And if you click cancel, it's gonna get removed. So you can click fill required items and all the items that are required will, the game will try to pull them from the middle row here. We still need one more cord though, so 
let's get that done. Okay, this this got overcooked. I don't think this chart remains help with the diarrhea, right? Oh yeah, they actually do a little bit. So you can overcook food if you like to remove the diarrhea. I actually was not aware of that feature, which is interesting. You learn something new every day. Uh, eating charcoal will fill you up. However, it will help not help you with your weight. This is, shows how much fat your body is storing. You will die if it reaches zero. So this thing, you need to eat well and you need to eat a lot to keep it high. Uh, your hunger bar will, will be a little bit crazy. If you eat a lot, it will empty faster. If you eat very little, it will empty slower. Basically, we get used to not having enough food. And so you can like, you can manipulate this thing. This thing, you can't manipulate. If you eat things which have no calories, like charcoal, and uh, leaves and whatever and <laughs> you will slowly starve but it takes a while so don't worry too much about it anyhow let's put some more of that on there we actually don't have any more fibers so i'm just gonna turn this thing off we're gonna grab some charcoal and ash and then we'll finish the sandals and we're gonna continue exploring so exploration okay we discovered a new blueprint that's really nice gonna build ourselves the sandals exploration is really important in this game because you're fairly limited on the start of what you can do so like for example the game will give you some rain on the start of the game just so you don't die but later on you need to have find a safe uh, like a fresh source of water inside the island so that will be really important for long-term survival especially if you get a drought period and stuff like that anyhow I would like to make my sandals right now. Uh, I should research something though. So we have everything researched. Um, mm, Bowen hat, basket needed. Right, okay, we're gonna, com we're gonna combine two palm fronts here. That will give us the palm weave and we will also figure it out. Oh, what if we combine a whole bunch of these together? Maybe we can make a container to carry stuff in and surely enough, it will. So we're gonna go here and find this container and research it. Um, yeah, I feel like it's important to just keep researching things at the start of the game because uh, as you can see, there's a, like a lot of stuff to research later on and this research time will become like a, how do you call it, uh, congestion point. Uh, that's not really a word I'm looking for, but uh, I think it's close enough. It will be a critical resource. Yeah. Anyhow, let's make these. So. There we go, some nice sandals. You can equip them by just uh, opening and right clicking. So now we have some sandals on our feet. Uh, our our damage to our feet when exploring should be very, fairly, fairly less than what it used to be. I will also go here and I will go and find another tracker here, which is really important. I'm gonna find the bug bites one. So bug bites, uh, if you get too much bug bites, you will get some very nasty diseases. So make sure you keep this thing down as much as possible. You can keep it down by like staying on the beach or uh, in the jungle outskirts during the rain, it will also go down. But you will see soon when the rain stops, it will start going up. And then we will talk a little bit about how to prevent that. Uh, I'll also grab some of my underwear here, which uh, we don't really need. Uh, it, they, I think they protect a little bit from the bugs, actually. Let me check it out. It doesn't say anything. It should. But uh, more importantly, we need like some nice uh, food wrappings. So here we got some cloths that we got from ripping up our underwear. Well, not underwear. <laughs> Just normal pants there. And you can use it to like rip it into even smaller shreds to craft a bandage, to craft food wrappings or craft hand wrappings. So food wrappings will protect your feet in a similar way that socks do. I could make myself clothes with it or make it larger by combining it with more clothes on a loom. Okay, that's gonna come into play later. <laughs> so what I like to do early on is make some food wrappings. So this will work same as socks. You can have two pairs of it equipped uh, and that's the limit, but that will like reduce your pain to your feet quite a lot. So if you find foot damage here, you can see if I remove one of these, I have a little bit of foot damage showing. So if I remove another one, there's a lot of foot damage, which we accumulated by exploring a lot at the start of the game. So, but with both of those wrappings, now we can happily explore without worrying too much. So we're gonna explore some more. Okay, once we explore this area, we're gonna find out about the new area namely the the deep jungle well jungle really 
There we go. We found the jungle path. We fully explored this area. There we go. We ex finished some objectives. We found all landmarks in this area. You can go to your journal. You can see here we fully explored outskirts. Funnily enough, we didn't fully explore beach yet. <laughs> okay. So we need to explore this whole island with our with our custom character here in order to finish that thing. And we need to we need to get a lot of skills going. Hunting, fishing, cooking, crafting, tailoring, woodworking, herbology, climbing, and swimming. Right. Okay, so next thing we would like to do here is we would like to make an axe. So for the axe you need some wood and sharpened stone. A uh, little bit of a problem here is that, uh, well, that's my only sharp stone. So if I make an axe out of it, we'll not be able to like do some actions. But right now I'm like, we made the hand drill, so that's fine. Yeah, surely. Let's make the axe so we can like get some more tools going. There we go. The rain stopped. So here you can see 14 uh, portions of water. I should have filled the rest, but that's fine. And these will start evaporating now. So this will not this is not an unlimited supply you can rely on. After some time they will evaporate and you will have to, you know, you will also drink them up. That's another thing, right? Okay, we're a little bit hungry, so we're gonna eat some coconut, roasted coconut meats here. You can see we are getting tired of eating coconuts, so this will reduce our morale. So you cannot just eat coconuts night and day, you will have to find some other types of food. We do have some like lemongrass and stuff, but we'll have to like explore further down into the jungle to find some more. We got a stone axe, we can cut down the small palm tree. This will give us a lot of palm fronds, but also a very long stick. Also, we unlock some new blueprints again, which is kind of cool. So let's check out. Uh, so we are researching right now something, right? Or maybe not. Oh, we are researching the woven basket. We're gonna finish researching this and then we're gonna s check out something else. You can make a small shelter. Shelter will protect you somewhat from the rain, but um, I find in this game, if you're just next to the campfire, you'll be fine either way. Maybe it's a little bit of rebalancing, but that's fine. This game is pretty hard anyway, so. Okay. Uh, another nice thing you can actually do is if you like, well, I can't show you now though because I don't have the sharp stone anymore. Whoops. Let's go into the jungle and explore a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to take the jungle path into the deeper jungles. It takes 30 minutes to do it. Yeah, this is like a long path. Long path. Oh. A makaki is rummaging through my stuff. The little thief, should I try to scare it away? So makakis are monkeys in the jungle. They will like uh, uh, try to grab your stuff from the middle row. If you let it be, they will like run off with your stuff. It will also like take some of your time while you're waiting for it to leave. Okay, we discovered a new blueprint. That's fine. There was nothing in the middle row, so there was nothing for the makaki to take. Now we're gonna research. Let's see. We're gonna research. We're gonna research the splint. Uh, maybe. Yeah, sure. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. And we'll explore a little bit of jungle here. I'm gonna find some more. Like in the jungle, you can find a lot of woods and sticks, things like that. Even even long sticks, actually. Oh, we found a kava plant. So the kava plant. We can harvest its root and prepare it into a sutic brew that should help improve my mood as well as help against pain and fever. This thing is amazing. If you're feeling bad, you can use it to improve your situation. This thing can be used as like a um, bandage. We'll harvest some of it. This thing's not very useful, but it will increase your herbology, which is kind of important for some things. So. Uh, you can make some bandages from it, I guess. It also gives you herbology, so it's like a good way to train herbology, I guess. We are a little bit, you know, day is ending. Uh, you don't want to get stuck inside the jungle when it hits 20, so make sure to head back. You can also see here, and he you can hear also. Hear that? That's the sound of one million bugs biting your uh, face off right now. Well, not really, but the bug bites are going up, so... Um, don't stay in here too long without any bug protection. You will hate yourself for it. So, gonna explore a couple more times here. Find another stone, and we found a large tree. Okay, large trees are used to like build, 
like uh, advanced stuff. So in the early game, we're gonna mostly ignore them. So we're gonna go back to our jungle outskirts here. There we go. You can hear the bugs uh, are way less uh, soundful now. We will use our hand drill to start another fire here. There we go. I will uh, I will interact the long stick with the campfire. So basically not 100% how that works, but this will sharpen the tip of the long stick. You can also do it uh, if you have a sharpened stone. I'm going to show it off now. You can also do it with a sharpened stone, but it takes one hour. So we're going to save some time here by using the campfire. There we go. Now we got the rustic spear. And well, you can use it to poke things like, I don't know, seagulls who try to grab your food. Let me demonstrate. We're going to grab some lemongrass here. Now I'm not sure if the seagulls come during night. We're going to put some food here. Maybe they do. And then we're going to make a bandage to train some herbology. And surely enough, seagulls are like, ooh, what's that? Lemongrass. Mm, I could use some of that. Well, guess what? This time we have a spear. Now, a seagull is kind of hard to hit with the spear, but we're going to try anyway. And we're going to train some spear fighting. So the more you do it, the more likely you are to like stab and kill a seagull and it's a pretty good food source so i like to try i like to start training it early okay uh let's see research okay we're searching that thing that's good we made a new sharpened stone that's wonderful that's gonna be useful for various things let me see something okay so when you click on a thing and drag it around, you can see what it interacts with. You can grind the lemongrass, you can turn the sticks into hand drills, you can like uh, perforate and sharpen the coconuts, all kinds of nice things. So here what we're going to do is, I'm going to perforate a coconut, I'm going to empty it here, and then I'm going to put some water in it. So nice thing about perforated coconut is that the water that's inside it will not evaporate. So you can like prolong your water supplies that way. However, be careful. Be careful. We're going to eat a lemongrass now. If you empty it again, you will notice that, well, not yet, but this thing will degrade over time. Well, let's put some water back in it. So we're going to check it after we take a good night's sleep. I'm going to open up another one, though. Oh, we discovered a new blueprint. Amazing. What's next? Let's see. Let's research the shelter. I'll probably not use it, but let's get it out of the way. Okay, another. So coconut water, I'm going to let to like slowly evaporate. And the normal water, which is way more valuable to me, I'm going to put inside there. Also, you know what's another good way to stop water from evaporating? Well, just drink it. Now, each one of these coconut halves evaporates water at its own, at the, at the like fixed rate. However, if you like put water together in many like, uh, if instead of having water in like eight half coconut halves instead of nine, it will evaporate slower, slower because you reduce the surface. And this game is very deep, let me tell you that. So we're going to transfer this water from this one into the rest of the eight here. It's a nice trick. Uh, if things are going well, you probably don't have to do it. We're going to drink the rest. But you know, it's a nice trick to know. I'm going to put some more stuff there and then we're going to go and take a beautiful nap. There we go. Our dude here, what did we call him? The the guide man, uh, explorer zone, something like that. Anyway, if you did not figure it out yet, this will be a nice chill, like uh, guide-like series where I will be talking about how I like to play and do things which are very minimal risk in order to like survive. So basically, I cannot lose a perkless run. I just know how to avoid all the dangers. So if you want to stick around and find out how to do it, you can. But, uh, you know, it's way more fun to explore the game yourself. But if you get stuck, you can go back to my videos, check out how I do things. You broke your leg climbing a palm tree and you're like, man, this sucks. Well, just use the axe next time. Well, you have to do it during the day, though. Takes longer, but trust me, it's way safer. Anyhow, we're going to eat some roasted coconuts here a uh, little bit tired of them again but my my morale is holding strong and i think we did uh, finish researching that thing right yeah so we're just gonna go through the 
things very fast to see if like anything needs to be unlocked not really so here you can see like a lot of gel very useful things you need more herbology to unlock it so that's one of the reasons also a bug repellent so for these two i don't know if the game actually says okay it says a lot of the thing but then you need like i think seven percent herbology to unlock it so well start working on it soon okay these things we don't need i wonder if you can toss it into the fire hmm. not okay um Let's see, I'm gonna make myself a beautiful seashell necklace and then we'll probably like wrap this episode up. Okay, there we go, make some fiber cords, then go to tailoring, find a seashell necklace. This thing, this thing will improve your morale. A fancy necklace made of pretty seashells, I like it. My morale right now is going down. It's because probably we're a little bit uh, upset because we ate too much coconuts. Uh, I think we can stabilize it maybe. Yep, there we go. So my my morale now is stabilized. So this minus sign here means it's not going down or down over time like it used to be. And you can carry two of these if you need to. So morale going too much down, it's not the worst thing in the world, but if you can avoid it, that's pretty useful. Anyhow, I'm gonna bring some more water. Okay, and then we have like a million palm trees. We can start weaving them together to make a basket. That's probably a good idea. So we'll like start doing that. These these things will spoil over time. So for most items, this number here, when it gets to zero, they get destroyed. There's some exceptions. We're going to come to that. But yeah, use them before they get spoiled. For example, you can use them for the campfire. I'm going to grab some charcoal and ash out again. One of the things we're going to use the ash for is going to be farming. So we're going to stockpile those. And since we have like a million of these and we're going to easily find some more, we're going to use them for fuel here. There we go. And that should be it. We're in a pretty good shape. We have some basic gear going, a seashell necklace, some coconut sandals. We have some little food left over, but uh, as, as we'll explore the jungle, we're going to find some more. And then later on, we're going to become more sustainable. We're going to come to that. Okay, let's combine these together. There we go. And let's drink one more. Good. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, you can let me know down in the comments below if you're a new player, if you have like some questions, some doubts about the game, is the game for you? You can continue watching, seeing things out. I will also be making some nice tutorials for this game. So this will be like a guide series. Well, I'm just gonna go play through with a base character, right? So no bad perks, no good perks, just, you know, a baseline character. This is how the game used to be played when it first came out in early access. And I always felt like it's the most, like, nicest experience to start with. You can jump into an advanced character, but they start, start with, like, a whole bunch of items. It's, like, totally unbalanced in either way. Like, too easy, too hard, you know. But this is, like, so nice, nice and cool. So... I'm going to be making this series and I will be like uh, making some tutorials, talking about hydration, talking about nutrition, talking about diseases, stuff like that. And uh, I will also be starting a challenging run when I catch some time as well. So I hope I can offer some nice content for everyone. In the meantime, make sure to comment if you enjoyed it, like the video, if you are happy with the channel you found here at the Neomer. Uh, I think I'm number one person with the most uh, footage of this game out there on the internet as far as I know. Welcome! Subscribe maybe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Card Survival Tropical Island. The Neomer signing out. Bye bye.